What is a product that, if people found out how it was made they'd stop buying it? Most low to mid tier vodkas. I work at an industrial distillery, where we make millions of gallons of very high purity ethanol from corn. We have customers in the beverage market that literally just dilute our product to 80 proof or so, run it through a filter, and bottle it to sell. Those customers sell their products from anywhere from $8 to $50 plus for a liter. And you know what the main difference is? The more expensive vodka's bottle is fancier. It's almost all brand perception with these corn-based vodkas. Certain signed artwork. Used to work at an art printing company that we did signature editions of certain pieces. Guess who did the signing me and some kaokas. We were all design and art majors, so they just had us learn all the artists signatures. We even had machines that could mimic the signatures too. I wish I had a picture of the devices they were pretty cool. It was in the fine print that we were doing it and was approved by the artists. But I guarantee most people would never buy the prints if they knew the signatures were forged. So always read the fine print when buying items, especially special editions of stuff. This reminds me of a documentary series my dad once watched. Garlic. The garlic industry is a hell of a lot darker than most people would think. I don't remember everything, but apparently a lot of Chinese companies that sell to restaurants overseas use prison labor. These inmates have to peel the garlic completely by hand. No tools whatsoever. There were a few inmates missing fingernails. If I recall correctly, one man said that he had a friend who had to resort to using his teeth because he didn't have any nails left. They work unimaginably grueling shifts in which they have to meet a quota for the day or face consequences. They get paid very little, if anything at all. They all seemed so miserable. The series is titled Rotten. You can find it on Netflix. Fresh juices are not so fresh apparently. A friend whose family owns Mango Orchard told me these companies buy the leftover stock that doesn't sell directly and leave the rest to strong artificial flavoring for uniform taste. Silk. Bonus story, had a friend who worked briefly in bridal and was fitting a woman who was boasting how vegan and eco-friendly her wedding was going to be. No one was allowed to wear leather etc. All while wearing her dress with huge amounts of silk on it. Eater. The 17th of July 20 a lot of people asking if my friend told the bride, so I asked her, no I didn't. The bride and her friend started making fun of my disability when they thought I wasn't in the room and couldn't hear them. I would have also lost my job if I had lost the sale. Not really a product, but if people knew how much, and often people cut corners in construction, I think housing prices would go way I I I down. I don't think I was ever on a job where a problem came up and people were like, okay, let's start over and do this right. Or, especially in bigger construction companies, how much time the employees waste to run the clock. I've worked in two different meat departments in two separate grocery stores. The meat in the case that has had work done, marinated or like put into kebabs, are usually the old meat we didn't sell that is about to go bad. That marinade is hiding. How shitty the meat looks. RVs. They aren't insulated fully. Nothing is sealed correctly. All the electronics that are fancy and new are outdated and inefficient. The manufacturers use the cheapest materials possible and all RVs are built in 8 hours. A vacation home. On wheels. In 8 hours. Coffee and cockroaches are linked in several ways. For those who don't know, this happens with coffee because the large piles of coffee beans get infested with cockroaches and, according to Emlyn, it is impossible to remove them completely, so they are simply ground up with the coffee beans. Check out American Giant, made in the USA of USA sourced materials. You can get shirts for $22. Yeah it's pricier than Walmart, but it's made in North Carolina and literally the best quality shirts. The only thing that is comparable is Uniqlo Supima cotton shirts which go for 15. The hoodie are dope too but also 100 bucks. Mica products. I watched a documentary about mica, mines in areas where child labor tends to be exploited, and the interviewer asked this girl about her experience and she described how her sister died in the mine, and she's still working there. Mica is in almost all beauty products and due to the change of hands it can be hard to determine if natural mica is actually ethically sourced. 
However, after watching some soap making videos, I've discovered that Mad Micah sells sparkly stuff that Neatha puts children at risk, nor destroys the environment with microplastics. For those who want their cake and want to eat it too. People always point at Apple for exploiting Chinese labor, but don't realize that pretty much every company does the same thing and most of them use the exact same factory as Apple. It's called Foxconn not Apple. They make everything. Not exactly a product, but certain legal services. A lot of times lawyers are just filling in blanks from a template when drafting documents, and many problems can be resolved with a two minute online search, if you know where to look. If the public had the knowledge of, and access to the resources available to lawyers, there's an awful lot people could figure out for themselves. Of course, that's not to say it's a good idea to DIY legal matter, if you don't know exactly what you're doing. Just that the prices people pay for certain legal services aren't commensurate with the amount of time and effort they actually take the lawyer to complete. Not a product, but a service. I'm a hairstylist that's worked at Great Clips. They want us to do haircuts in under 16 minutes. If you're closer to 12, you become one of the elite. If you get a bad haircut from GC, yes, sometimes the stylist just isn't skilled. Most times, it's because we're rushed and bitched at for taking longer than 16 minutes.